now comes their main job first job is to recruit so what are the challenges of this recruitment your first challenge is to identify and recruit the agents using your own resources you will not get any leads from the company so you have to generate the leads first identify them whether they are suitable for this profession or not and then convince them to work as an advisor so identifying the right people is your first challenge but problem is there is lot of negativity about this profession in the market nobody wants to become an lsc agent even if i ask you if anybody has approached you to become an lsc agent your first reply would have been not interested it is mainly because of large scale termination of the advisors that has taking place during last 12 years or even earlier also there is large scale termination of advisors and the public image of the advisors is very poor so nobody is interested to work as an lsc agent this is your major challenge that you will face this is mainly because agents are recruited mostly as a part times and because they are part timers they don't have the time to get trained on need based selling i'm sure that you must have come by now you must have come to know about what the need based selling is so they don't have the time to learn what need based selling is so they are focused on selling the policies only so they they are taught the three four syllable plans then how to use the free softwares and they are mainly focused on selling in their soft markets that is they go to their relatives and friends first and they explain the benefits of the policies and they get the smallest possible coin and their ticket size remains low now in 2009 10 after 2009 10 there are a change in the generation of the prospects from particularly from 10 level there are change in generation of prospects from gen x to gen y that is millennials so millennials what tax savvy so they have got the required inf information about product and services sometimes they have more knowledge than the advisors that are trained so what they expect that the advisor should analyze their problems what financial problems they are facing and give them the proper solutions for them but advisors mostly are part timers they are not taught on these lines so they start getting rejections even from their soft markets and even if they get something their ticket size remains low so what do you think they are getting lot of rejections in the market what is mindset i am getting lot of rejections in the market i am also not earning much so definitely they will not continue in this profession so their expectations of millennials is the advisor should be more knowledgeable they should be tech savvy and they should give doorstep service which the part time advisors fails to do so they started getting more rejections and if you look at the termination figures during last 
12 years from 10 11 to 22 23 total agents recruited during this last 12 years was 41.8 lakhs agents i'm talking about only lsc 41.8 lakhs agents were recruited that is 3.4 lakhs agents per annum were recruited out of that 42.35 lakhs got terminated that means 3.48 recruited 3.52 terminated that means there was a net reduction of agents of 55000 agents were reduced during last 12 years what happened to the new ideas ADOs recruited after during this period from 10 11 to 22 23 they also followed the same pattern because obviously it is natural when you join you always look at your seniors how they are working and you will also adopt the same method but i said that was transition was taking place during last 12 years change in generation of the prospects so this old methods they were not able to sustain they were not able to even recruit the required number of advisors so it has resulted into the termination of ados about 80 to 90 percent of the ados recruited during last 12 years got terminated that's why I said think big, think different. So what I'm going to tell you now is to work entirely different from the existing business model, the existing pattern that is being followed by the development offices. You have to think big and think different. Because if you do the same things, you will get the same results. But you work differently, you will get the different results. So what should be your strategy? How you should you will overcome these problems? So you have to recruit only full-time advisors. Now the first question that must have come to your mind that Nobody is interested to work as an advisor. Then how we will going to convince them to work full time? Since you have joined at the right moment. Because now there is another change in generation is taking place. From this year onwards, the prospects will be Gen Z. One other change in generation of prospects is taking place from this year onwards. And you yourself are Gen Z. The so Gen Z listens to their peers more than to their parents. So you can easily convince them to work full time. You can easily convince them that we will grow together. So your approach should be different. You have, because it is very easy to convince them to work full time than part time. They have also the same traits that you are having. They are business minded. They are not afraid of trying the new things. They also want to work for the purpose. Of course, they want to create wealth. So first you go and tell them that the agency that I'm going to tell you is not the normal agency. We have created a separate agency channel exclusively for Gen Z. And it is a startup opportunity as an ACLS advisor, where you have to work full time, 
other LIC agents are working part-timers, but this is full-time career opportunity as an ACE LIC advisor. There is difference between agent and advisor. And you can tell them that we will grow together. So if you adopt this approach, and definitely they should at least listen to you. That what exactly it is. So it is easy to convince them. Look, focus on their traits. The way I explained to you, you can explain them as well. And there is a lot of market potential available. Tremendous, huge market potential is available. I have created a playlist for ADOs on my YouTube channel. Go to my YouTube channel, Kamlesh Guru. Search for Kamlesh Guru on YouTube. Go to the playlist I have created for ADOs. There I have posted particularly all these videos on what is the available market potential for full-time advisors. How you should recruit the full-time advisors. And there are other videos as well. And I'll keep on adding this video. So go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and go through these videos, particularly playlist of ADUs. You will get a lot of insights from them. And most importantly, there will be no competition from existing development officers and clears. There's a good news for you. Because they are they have still not changed their recruitment pattern. They are still continuing with the recruitment of part-time advisors. So there is no competition. You completely eliminate the competition from the existing development offices. And you have to go online because your target audience is online. Reach out to them through social media platforms. Talk about startup opportunity as SLIC advisors to grab their attention. Call them for webinars. Call them for one-to-one -one meeting, online meetings. And convince them to work together. So this is how you can overcome your recruitment problems. and launch your career from here. Thanks. If you are convinced to look at your job as a business and prepare to make the investments to build the online systems, then I invite you to join KG's Hub PDO community, where we assist you to launch your career on a strong foundation and most importantly, you will be in the community of like-minded videos. To know the benefits and fees of KG Sub video community, check my page on this link, kguru.in slash video. Have the most satisfying and rewarding career as a mentor.